Hi, my name is Jeffrey Farmer. I'm from Menden, Massachusetts. And I don't even know why I'm doing this stupid thing because this is not what I do. I don't do social media or anything. But I, I cannot fucking, I can't take this anymore. This guy, he's like a Tasmanian devil. He freaking, he just throws bombs everywhere. People can't even keep up with the stuff that he's saying now. And putting my children at friggin' risk, going to school. The teachers putting them at risk. I want them to go to school. I want the economy to be great and everything. We all want that. I ha I'm sick. I have an immune um, deficiency. I have multiple autoimmune diseases. And I, I, you know, I just, I've been doing everything right. It, we're all supposed to be doing right. This guy couldn't lead freaking his way out of a freaking wet paper bag. I'm voting for Joe Biden. I reason I voted for Trump last time was because I could not stand Hillary Clinton, and I was have always been a you know pretty conservative, liberal some things, but darn conservative about others. And this guy makes my son serve in the army in the 101st Airborne, and what this guy has done, you know. My, my son was ashamed of even calling himself a, a soldier with some of the stuff this guy has done. Yeah, I mean, no, not ashamed of your soldier, just ashamed of friggin' being from America, put it that way. I'm actually ashamed from being from this country now. I'm first generation American. My family's from Ireland and, and from France. Um, it doesn't matter. Everyone, all these people who lie with them, they, they're just lying to everybody's face, just every five seconds. The McGinnity, the Conways, the freaking Trumps, the Mulvaney's, they're all liars. Everything is a lie. Everything is about freaking him. I actually think he's trying to self-sabotage himself, maybe. Maybe he's like, I don't want another four, four, four years. Maybe I'll just freaking blow up everything. And maybe I'll get fired or I won't get, I won't get voted. Voted in again. You know, I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand, but if this guy, another four years, I can't do it. I can't do any more time with this guy. I feel like I'm in friggin' prison. Uh, it's brutal. And, and I've never been this way about any president. This guy should get the frick off Twitter. All he does is he's Twitter, July 8th, 2020, all day long. Him and his goddamn Twitter, all he does is watch the goddamn news. Why don't you do your frickin' job, Donald Trump? Instead of freaking whining and complaining about everything, everyone's out to get you. Uh, you know what, dude? Freaking, you know, walk a mile in my shoes, and then you could freaking maybe have the right to freaking bitch about something. You, you, you're just nothing but a freaking narcissist. You're a freaking horrible human being. Horrible. You're probably one of the worst freaking examples of a freaking human being there ever has been, besides Hitler, Mussolini. Uh, I don't know, maybe Genghis Khan. I don't know. I mean, take your pick, Saddam, Osama, Trump. You're all friggin' synonymous. You're all friggin' narcissists, and your friggin' your ideology, your racist friggin' shit. Even the stuff we're doing to this country, you're making us, you you're making us look so stupid. We look pathetic. We can't friggin' control friggin' disease, and we believe me, it's a pandemic. We can't even get it somewhat, just tamp down a little bit. Nope. And you, all I hear is, how many millions of lives you saved? You did right. You did nothing, dude. You are a goddamn sorry excuse for a freaking human being. Please, if you do not become president. Again, if, if we vote this guy back in again, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Well, one more message for you, Trump. Shut the fuck up for once. For once. Why don't you admit you're fucking wrong for once? And why don't you fucking show some kind of fucking empathy towards somebody other than yourself? Good night, Donald.